Hello, I'm the Raven of Poe, or Jennifer, and I was recently contacted by David Randall Curtis, who explained to me that he was doing a collaboration with Elvira Dark Six, and that he had a part for me. And I was very excited because usually I have to write my own material, and this time I wouldn't have to worry. But then I found out that what he meant by part was actually that I would be editing all the footage that had already been shot and there really was no speaking part for me. But I did it anyway. So here's David and Elvira in hindsight. Dear Joel A, I can't believe I finally tracked you down and how long it's been since I've seen you. I've enclosed my business card, which has my phone, address, and email. I hope to hear from you. Also, I wrote a poem about you the other day, which I've enclosed. Hope you like that too. Love, David Randall Curtis. Okay, Jolene. The title of this poem is Hindsight. And it goes like this. She says, it's good to see me again. Her hair, makeup, and clothing are black upon black upon black. Dark shadows draped over pale skin. She walks to an empty space in front of the band. Her dance is a sensual catharsis that turns every casual glance across the dimly lit room into an act of voyeurism. She says she needs to talk. Her stories make me wince, but draw me deeper into her perpetual night. Howling under the moon, it's her manic phase. She spills her wine. Her laughter is real and hard. Her smile more seductive than the heavens above us. She's still enjoying the ride, still searching for her limits. And her parents are still waiting by the front door, fuming. This will be how I remember her. Before she carved lines into her face, laid tracks on her arms and got all the tattoos she'd later regret. Before her parents finally gave up and went back to bed. 